not like Katie not to do her, bless her, but she just said, I'm going to do a Pilates video online instead, Jill, I just oh. had a good night's sleep. I feel a bit, I think it's the weather, you know, after having two lovely days. I know, you know, I know for the curtains and I just went, oh. <laughs> At least you get sun quite a bit in the year. Yeah. Your little jobs. When were you last away? We'll chat in this, we're going to chat in the warm-up, guys, and I'm going to show uh, other week, I meant to be going away on Friday to New York, so I've got two now. I requested to take Tali about to be nice on Friday. And the flight's full coming up, so I'm not very scared. No. Two. And one. And then I've just been Googling beaches in Portugal. Nice. So we'll go next week. Oh, can't wait. I'm so ready for a break. What's weather like there? It was looking pretty like it was going to change and be pants because it's been beautiful for weeks but it's changed again oh, so at the minute it's looking nice about 22 and sunshine oh that's perfect so that'll be just nice for it yeah so five four three two and one i've just emailed jill actually amanda just to say can she find jude and skyer <laughs> Four or five day, I spent hours yesterday trying to. But because they don't drive, well, he does drive, they can't rot. He kind of wants a beachy break. Yeah. But the problem is, you need to just look. I found him on Tafara, which he really was like, oh, I've never been to Portugal. But like the beach resort where we wanted were about half an hour away from the airport, and the flight home was six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I'm like, how are you going to get to the airport? You're going to have to get to the airport in a cab about half two. Where are you going to put all, you know what I mean? He's like, oh, you're in the front, brother. Love to go for the 18. Yeah. Can't drive back, can I? Next door neighbour's daughter just put on to San Antonio and be for... Oh, really? Right. Yeah, about 400 quid for a week. Oh, that's good. And Jet 2 holidays. And I see, I looked at Jet 2 and were really quite... So anyway, I've sent Jill one and I said... Because they've only got about, they only want to go for four or five days and I've got about 350 quid each. Yeah. Which I thought they would easy to do, if I'm honest. But do you know what? A week's so nice as well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, as long as she's back for fresh as we. <laughs> oh, they're going later? Yeah, not going no, June. right now, no, September. Oh, that's probably why it's normal. But I'd have thought all kids are back at school. You'd still think it'd be a lot cheaper, but anyway. I'm sure Jill will tell me or me. Where's she going? Where's... He's going for a month to go. Um, either Cardiff, Liverpool, Cardiff, Liverpool, Manchester, I think. I can't remember. Oh, she's got places. Yeah, I think she has. She I might not get me, I might not get me bridge. What she wants to do? Philosophy. Okay. Philosophy. And four, three, so she was going to do film studies because she's doing English politics, English politics and diary. Mm. But she just said she thought it might be a bit limited. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Whereas philosophy. Don't really know much about philosophy myself, but <laughs> <laughs> and then you read that. What's you doing then? Is he going to get an apprenticeship? Or? I don't know. He's quite still, still struggling with the idea of physio, but he's obviously got to get his grades. Yeah, he hasn't liked though, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, but I don't think he really wants to go next year. No. He's looked at uh, an apprenticeship with the NHS. They do a physio one. Oh, wow. Um, so we'll see. But then one minute he's like, oh, I don't know, am I having a trade like an engineer or an electrician? Like, it's not much difference there. Um, <laughs> you know, if he gets his physio, you know, he can take that anyway. I know, yeah. Yeah, four, three, he's already looked at how much physios earn in Australia. <laughs> it's like the end more than her brain one, I said. Everyone earns more than this. Yeah, but it sounds like they're going to be bad, isn't it? Aye. Expensive. Yeah, very. And beautiful, and then just pull back to... <sighs> Come on, sunshine. Me and Amanda are having a chat outside over the phone and having a cup of coffee in the sun. <sighs> Four, three, two, and one. And just a big circle. 
Just stay there, I feel sleepy today. Yeah. <laughs> then come on, you back. I slept really well, though, as well. So 
sometimes I think when you sleep through, you feel almost more tired. Yeah. And then we're just going to take it into our scissor guys. We're just going to do a little bit more abdominals while we're down here. And then when we're finished cardio, we can just stretch. Take your legs up super high, draw the tummy in. Really imagine that you are really pushing that navel into your spine. Keep the rib cage close, little chin to chest, and let's take it down into our scissor. And back. teaching scissor at home, we'll just stick at the were only because it's the holidays, there were only a girl called Chloe and I was being, she's so, so lovely. Um, she's just so complimentary. In fact, Amanda, I've given her your number, babe. I'll speak to you about later why, um, but I was telling her about that you were good with a certain thing. And um, we started doing scissors, but she was telling me all about something that's going on in the life, and literally we did loads of them, and I'm like, you need to yeah. stop talking soon. <laughs> and ten. Nine. Eight. I'm going to start taking a 10% cut, Amanda. <laughs> and six. Thank you, Jen. Five. Cabin crew, actually, this lady. Oh, sure. Lovely. She, uh, Chloe Molson, she's called, but Emirates. Yeah. Two. And one. Well done. Just take the soles of the feet together. Just let the knees. I know we were. Were your hips bothering you after last? We don't know if it was Wednesday or. Might have been Saturday hit, actually, because I think it was a Monday. We did something recently. But scissor, obviously, particularly if you've got um, a flexed foot, guys, obviously your hip flexors are tightening a bit, so it could be. So just if you do scissors, let's do a second round and take them back up again. So maybe, so just if you touch like there now, you'll see how the tightening a bit. So if you point your feet, it just lengthens a little bit. Push the rib cage down and... You can lift head and shoulders if you want to increase it a bit, but make sure that chin's going to chest. Being really busy when the weather's like this, though. So yeah. Not where you can get out. Are the girls just busy themselves at our turn? Well, Evie's working. Tali had two friends for sleepover last night, and the nurse is doing yeah. some makeup modelling today. Is she? And one, well done. And then just pull knees into chest. <sighs> so it's a bit here, and everyone, you know, when you're not going away. Yeah, I always feel like I'm abandoned and Martin's like, but we're already 15, 8 and 18, Jo. Well, we're going to go to the sea on Sunday. I don't want to spend time here anyway. And no. then gently, okay, just take a little cat to cat. Oh, will you? But, um, Catherine and Elliot, Andy's sister and brother, came out on Saturday night, so that was the late one. Yeah. So by the time we got up, and I thought there's no point. No, it's a good hour and a half, isn't it? Yeah. And then just gently back. She made one of my clients, she's got place in the stairs and she's went Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I love her. Oh, man, I love the weather. Okay, guys, so let's do, let's do our weights first and then we'll cardio up and then we'll go that little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do a reverse lunge. So one, two,
Zehnmal. Zehn. Neun. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. And then straight into one. Weight down. Straight into your wide. Pull. Lift. Nice and quick. Really pull back so you're pulling the scat together. Three. Oh, I need to ask my heart to listen to that, Charlie. Because you've got a window guy around me today. And he says I need all the lintels above my windows before I can replace the windows. Oh, do you know that? I just thought that someone doesn't want these two new ones, so he's fitting them for her. He fit ours up front. So it's just a fortune. That guy would be really, really nice. He goes, yeah. oh. Because it's just your brickwork oh. that's taken away in that window and it won't fit them until that's done. Oh, it's another thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I know. Nothing's ever simple. Everything is broken in our house this last six I'll weeks. do it for talk to So, bathroom, toilet, downstairs, we've just done. We can't find matching tiles. Martin's like, I'm not ripping it all out, Joe. So, he's found some. They look all right, actually. So, he's had to take. All the cysts now, we take all the tiles off the back wall, our shower's broke, oh, our wow. upstairs toilet's broke. It's because it's like 18 years old now, yeah. some of this stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's stuff up. Up. Yeah, it I needs know. Doing it, doesn't it? Yeah. And we've just finished our bath bedroom, so when one room looks really lovely, it makes everything else look really yeah, tiny, it does. doesn't it? I've just been clearing that a lot oh. for the last couple of days. But I just wanted Andy to look at one house to fill us. Oh, it's going to take me oh, well a long time. <laughs> Just have a little circle round. Easy to Two get. days non stop. Oh, yeah. You mm. could give me an hour. <laughs> so, so let's do uppercut and across. So one, two. Yeah, three, two, one. Well, Matt has been off the last two days, which has been great. So it's Kind of blitzed a bit in the garden. Yeah. Got rid of some stuff in the skip. I know, um, you've got a right hoe, don't you? Well, we've got new patios in our bedroom door because they were all. Oh, we've got a balcony? Yeah. Well, it's not really, but well, we can go out. Mason often sunbeds on the roof, so you can actually go out, but yeah. it opens up. Eight. Do a little bit of film critique, don't we? I watched something on ITVX yesterday and this morning. Bali. It's only four episodes. It's about the Bali bombings in 2002, but a drama. Yeah. It's really sad. Bali's got a really special place in my. We got engaged there and I travelled around it quite a lot. So if you get a chance, Chloe. Oh, it's sad. I forgot how many done. I can't remember it. I can but not. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Oh God, I can bear. October 2002. I think it was only because it were in Kuta and we were there quite a bit. We didn't stay in Kuta, we stayed in Sanur, I think. Um, yeah, but that's where I knew the bonded oh. club that we'd been in and the bar. Um, but the burns. Oh, so they were all obviously based on true stories, but they were actors, but then this boy, I just fell in love with him. He was only like 18, 19, one of the surfers. Yeah. And he'd, um, yeah, well, I'll tell you what happened, because if you're going to watch it. But yeah, it was eight, seven, but this Balinese girl in it, oh my God, she was just adorable. Three, two, and one, well done, and then keep the car tight and just front raise it. Deep squat.
coming today. Oh, these little massages. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does in the world of good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So gorgeous. Because his it? neck was so tired a couple of weeks ago, was it? And he came last week and said, so much better. So we, so we came for a massage on Monday. Oh, I'm sure you, well, you know what Cairo has kind of been. So she came when I first showed her and it really helped. But Cairo told her not to get a massage at all. Anyway, she came Monday and her shoulders, scapula was so tight. And when she texted me yesterday and she went, honest to God, Joe, I feel like a new woman. I can move for the first. So I said, just keep coming every second week. Four, three. I sometimes I don't know all the cat talks to When I went for that treatment on that, it's what you have for Yeah, I know the cat talked to me that from there. Again, really pull your shoulder blade back down. I think people forget about how tight yeah. they're getting the pecs because you don't feel the front as much as you do your back, but then you can get all sorts of thoracic outlet and all sorts of stuff. I think it's going down, down the loft and carrying the stuff. Yeah. Oh, that feels good there. And let's do a couple of circles. some clicking <laughs> and then the other side and then again oh no oh if you can watch that hospital program in the leads is that saving lives yeah no i saw it this morning when i was watching this last thing about that bowel thing i thought someone were telling me the other day it's really really good yeah because karen put on the oh I think about the yeah about the doctor i haven't what seen it but about? i saw Episode two, we're just on like episode. We're, we're talking about a liver, liver, two liver transplants or something. Because I wondered if it's. I used to have a lovely. I think we've moved a lovely client, Mary. Can I remember Mary? She oh, Egyptian. Oh, oh no. No, that would be the other. She were lovely too. Oh, oh my! I've had three Marys. They're all gorgeous. Like um, Mary, Saint Martin. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. She's got a little grandson now. Oh, Claire oh. and Gareth had a little. It's daughter. Daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was a little boy. He's absolutely gorgeous. Was it St. Martin's house? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. a friend of that is an occupational therapist. A nurse and then she she's pulled on. back. Oh. She's working there now. She says it's the best job she's ever had in her life. Yeah, well, it must be so. I mean, it must be heartbreaking at times, but very rewarding. And then across. So you're saying about Egyptian Mary? Yeah, so. But I've got a feeling, I spoke to someone the other day that knows him and he said, I think they've moved back to Egypt, yeah. but he was a double Magda or Magda. He was like the first double transplant surgeon in the country. Oh, really? Yeah. Really supposed to be a lovely man. So I wondered if he were on it, but he's probably not. Okay, guys, <laughs> grab hold of a ball if you've got one. If you've not, don't worry, just imagine you have. Use your imagination. And we're going to go into that netball one. So out to the side, jump. Yeah, so one, jump, 50. That's it. 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 I paid for it and uh, he said, we asked for some water. 
in the bottom like a bottle of still water. Five quid. They spoil the stuff, don't they? Let's go again. Three, two, one. Oh, we're on. We're on the 
through the bun, just let your knees fall out, turn your palms up to ceiling, and just butterfly a little bit, just up and down. So we'll always make sure we try and kind of just stretch out a bit more at the end of hip. And then the other way. So take your feet really, really wide. Keep your right leg still, but bring your left foot, hip, and knee in towards the mat. So ideally, the knee should pretty much touch the mat, but just know. So if you just place your hand kind of on your hip bone, it just feels like you can feel it stretching out there. Let's take a breath in. And out. I wonder if it's a bit muggy out of the rain. It's really warm. Really warm, really really yeah. And then the other side. Oh, that one feels tight. Yeah, my left is my, it's my left that's tight. And Chloe, you'll have to remind me on Friday. I know I'm the teacher and all that, but we used to do one, and I can't remember it. It was something. Chloe will remember, and we were both like, "Oh my god, I can't think how to get into it. It's just gone out of my head." But anyway, don't matter. I've come over on the apron. Take a breath in.
Cheers. Someone called Chloe might get in touch with you, Amanda. 